you know, now people dating online is not as weird as it was when it first started. You know, I met, I met my husband, I met my wife online, whatever. But again, the problem that you find, and it's been an ongoing joke for a long, long time, is that if you're in this world of modern day dating and you're using these services, people may not necessarily give you the the vision of themselves that what? is that is accurate. Are you kidding? Yeah, me? They, they may be using an old picture. Rick, some, there's one thing to put your best foot forward. Yeah. Okay, I got that. Right, right. But and then, and then of course at times they'll use someone else's picture. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But uh, but we've seen that, uh, which I don't know why anybody would pick a, a picture from this show. But but anyway, <laughs> now Bubba, we think. It's happening mainly with the dudes. It's called dog fishing. Dog fishing. Online daters are posing with adorable pets that are not theirs. They're, <laughs> they're, they're pretending to have a dog or be a dog lover when they're really not. That's funny. Well, and, let me ask you this. This is kind of like cooking the books, okay, mm-hmm. in a business. And we've had several people go to jail for that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and probably some more in our government that should go. But. Uh, when you do that, eventually you're going to be found out. Uh, mm-hmm. Eventually, yeah. it catches up. You to got you. to show the dog at some point, uh, especially with this. You know the new the new scheme that caught so many uh, and made all the headlines. Where people not only in the old days they would hide money, the new thing was to overstate your income so you could get bigger bonuses, yeah. drive yeah. your stock oh, price yeah. up, Ooh, yeah. all that. But the problem is eventually. There's not as much money in the bank as you said is coming in, and it catches up with you. There's no way that you don't get caught at some point in time. So how do you have a picture with this loving puppy, and then when someone wants to date you and they meet you, they go, "I want to see your dog," and you don't have your dog. Well, some of the daters are trying to defend themselves, saying that there's they don't they didn't say any, they didn't do anything but have a picture made with the dog. They never claimed it was their dog. Uh, and so they're really not lying. Others are saying now you're playing so, you're playing games with so, deception. And so, like that picture, we we have to imagine that a dog just wandered into my apartment, laid mm-hmm. on the couch, and acts like he's reading a book. Mm-hmm. I could even see that when I'm swimming, a dog comes up to me and licks mm-hmm. me in the face. I can even see that one before the other. Well, and this one woman, a dog is on my couch. I don't even. It know. could be somebody else's. You'd be your buddy's apartment. Yeah. Well, hanging out with him, and he has a dog. Well, the bottom line is, he, she said. I mean, that's just possible. We got to look at it every yeah. angle. This may be a dog lover that just don't want to have a dog. Well, here's, here's what enough. it would tell me. That I hate I'm defending this guy. Yeah. You, well, but, but there's many of them. They said there's, there's a lot of them that have done it that are legit. Here. Yeah, but they're saying most of them admit they were trying to deceive, and they just she, sure. She said. Oh, yeah. She said well, most of that, most of them just come clean about it. Yeah. I think that's well, how I want to start a relationship where the very first thing that I know about you is deceptive. Yeah. But it could I mean, be a lot worse. I mean, it be, <laughs> me faking a pet isn't that big a deal. Well, well in the world of creepy. Un, until well, you move on to the next thing, Greg. Well, well Greg, I'm just saying in the world of creepy, that's one thing. But, but I mean, the, I, I act like I had a dog. Yeah, yeah. Next, you start faking you got a job. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. yeah, but faking that's, you don't have that falls under could be worse. Right. You start faking you don't have a crazy ex-wife. Yeah, yeah. that falls under that could be of worse. rabbits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Huh? To me. To me, this is it's, it's just hilarious that people would fake being pet owners. Oh, it's great. Yeah, of course. Yeah, this would be the wrong play. I mean, that'd be the that would be the I'd be like, oh, I got to deal with that dog. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> now I got to date this person. They're gonna be so saying, this guy. They gonna want to take the dog with them going to yeah. every time we try to go somewhere. Yeah, mm-hmm. I know this sounds crazy, but the online dating coach says uh, the main thing everybody needs to understand is we got, create profiles representing your actual life. Oh, really? We but, had to have a, an online dating coach <laughs> to come up with that. Well, a oh, 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 there's a confused no. American here. What? <laughs> you mean eventually when I meet these people, they're gonna know who I really am? <laughs> I shouldn't pretend to be something I'm not. <laughs> That's a concept. Yeah, uh, that's uh, oh, when you look at me, he's yeah, there. Yeah, I know, yeah. I know. Well, it's just like you said, Bob. I mean, my guy, this, a- this has an ending. <laughs> the first, the fact that we have an online dating coach, yeah, first right, of all, right? But we had to go to him to or her, or whatever, yeah, for that info. <laughs> Greg, yeah. Greg, we bring we bring in Danny Coach. If I could give some advice, you want to present yourself in some form of reality. Yeah, first of all, the picture all right. needs to be of you, right? So here's you know, here's an example of what the coach was talking oh, about. Oh, the coach. She says That's uh, like a, life coach. A, a young lady uh, from Ann Arbor, Michigan, swipes, sees a dog photo. She cringes at the memory of one of her most awkward dates. Uh, his name we'll call Sam for this. Sam had a promising profile. They had good banter over drinks, and at the end of the night, she was comfortable enough to suggest 
a dog walking date for the next time. Uh Uh-oh. The energy of the conversation changed completely, Uh and it took me by surprise, the 30-year-old female said, sensing her date's hesitation. (laughs) The date changed the topic, but the rest of the night couldn't be redeemed. He later apologized for his behavior in a post-date text, admitting that he didn't know how to explain that he didn't own the dog in his profile. Yeah, I think you hit on the bigger picture. He should have said it. Got I could have worked that out easy. Yeah, he got ran over. Gracious. Yeah, that's, well, I, I think that's I, easy. Yeah. 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 Eddie the Humane Society. Yeah. Grab one. Tommy in Scottsboro. Speedy. Bring Leo. Tommy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, goodness listen, gracious. What? Listen to this. Hey, it's Tommy. Oh, Tammy. I'm sorry. I, Tammy. I didn't look they, okay. they, he, he put Tammy. I just read it wrong. <laughs> I was just going to say, I have a guy friend who rides around with a bicycle rack and a bike at times on the back of his truck or car, and he does not even bicycle or anything. And when he gets out, his pot belly's there, and I'm just like, <laughs> are you doing that? He said it brings in chicks. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to look active. He's He's trying to yeah, I'm a cyclist. <laughs> well, you might have, and then they ask him, say, well, you got a bike record there. Yeah, I never said I was a cyclist. <laughs> I just, <laughs> I just, I just, I just like to carry around a bicycle. Yeah, I'm, I'm active. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Does, does so, put, Tammy, <laughs> how's that working for him? Not real good when he bellies up to the bar and his belly gets there first. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's really on his belly. Yeah. I mean. yeah, if you see, you know what? She, what she's not telling us. He did this to her. Yeah, Tammy, yep. were you a victim of this? <laughs> no. yeah, Tammy. Tammy. Tammy, Tammy, come clean, Tammy. Wow. Gotta go at work. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. <laughs> I have a friend that uh, puts a, friend. a bicycle rack like he has a bike. And when he gets out, it's obvious when he bellies up to the bar. Tammy, this is starting to sound like you were there. Uh, <laughs> 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 How do you want to go for a ride Saturday up? morning? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, well, I can. I got that thing. Yeah, uh, you know, I got that My thing. bike's in the shop. How often <laughs> do you bike? It, it's, what's your rotation? Well, not, you know, not, not a lot, but some. <laughs> look, 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 okay. This, 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 look, I don't know. I never knew there were so many fat biker pictures. Probably talks about the spin class at the Y. Oh, oh sure. No, sure. sure. No, he does. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, yeah, I work out a little bit. Uh, you gotta, I do. Uh, do you do you have a, a bike? I have a bike rack. Right? Where's the bike? Well.